Hey everybody, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent here in Northwest Arkansas. So today we're gonna to be talking about some of the things that I did as soon as I moved down to Northwest Arkansas. So let's talk about that. Before we jump into the content, once again, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. Also, go ahead and subscribe and like to the channel. It makes a big difference because I produce content for Northwest Arkansas all week long. And so it makes a big difference if you subscribe and also like the video because it really puts that video and content in front of other people who are looking to move to the area. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. All right. And so the first thing that I did as soon as I moved down to Northwest Arkansas was I investigated all the parks, all the trails, and all of the libraries. So that's really important to me when I first moved down here because I love trail running. I like being on the trails. Outdoors is a big deal for me. So the first thing that I did was I investigated all the trailheads around the area. So I went up to Bella Vista. I tried out the back 40. I went to Slaughter Pen. I went down to Springdale and all the Rogers. And I went to Weddington. I went everywhere. I tried to figure all the trail systems out to see exactly where I want to spend most of my time running and just being outdoors. You know, I went and got a map and I went obviously online and checked out all the trails. I talked to friends and, you know, made friends. We'll talk about that in a second but I checked out all the trail systems around the area and just got a little bit of a sample to see okay do you want to spend time here do you want to spend time here you know all the different things and then I went to the Fayetteville Library the Bentonville Library the Springdale Library and also the Rogers Library and just to see you know what different resources all these libraries have in the area because I love libraries I love reading I love spending time there whether it's a coffee shop or library you're going to find me there regardless I promise you that and also another big thing that I checked out was the parks. Fayetteville and also Benville have so many parks in the area and some of them have in-ground pools, some of them have massive swing sets, some of them have like track systems around there. So it's really fun because every single park around the area is completely different. And so going to check out all these parks are amazing. And one of my favorite parks is Walker Park in Fayetteville and it's kind of centrally located. So it's surrounded by trees. It's kind of like this utopia with inside of a city. And I love it because it has that kind of New York kind of feel where it's like you're kind of enclosed closed around your own little environment. And uh, there's a lot of families that go there, a lot of kids that go there. So if you're looking to make new friends and you're new to the area, definitely check out Walker Park in Fayetteville. And the second thing that I did as soon as I moved to Northwest Arkansas, and this is like the least funnest thing to do here, but I have a story about that, is going to the DMV. Now, whenever you hear about going to the DMV, you're thinking like, it's going to be a full day event. It's like, I have to like section out time for this, like, you know, get on a calendar. Actually, this, the DMV was quite an experience because I, this is how it went down. I went there, like, I, I think around lunchtime, so po like potentially problematic, walked in there. And actually, I went to the one in Fayetteville, and every single city has their own DMV. But I went to the one in Fayetteville, and they have like, like 10 people up front, and they have other people on the side, and you're basically taken care of within a few minutes. So everyone's really nice and polite. And so at least where I came from, uh, the DMV were not nice nor polite. They pretty much hated your guts. And so it was funny going into, you know, coming from Chicago and then going into the DMV, which is arguably one of the worst places to go to just in general. So I went to the DMV. I had a lot of questions about, you know, Arkansas and how the tax system works. They were ready to answer all the questions. They had a smile on their face and they seemed like they liked their job. So that was a good thing. And then the crazy thing, this is what was crazy about Arkansas is that the revenue office is right next door to the DMV. And so I was able to get my stickers and then go right pay for them right next door. And so I was able to pay my property taxes and everything right in one place. Loved it. So I can honestly say DMV experience in Fayetteville, 10 out of 10. Didn't think it would happen, but here we are. Also, side note, part of the reason why I went to the DMV is because the fact that once you have your new license, you can go to the library and get a free library card for any, any of the libraries in the area. Now, the nice thing is that even if you don't have a new driver's license yet, you can pay like $50 to the Fayetteville library and they'll just give you a library card regardless of your driver's license, whether it's in a different state or anywhere. So that is a benefit too, in case you don't want to get your driver's license transferred right away. And also that reminds me, if you are thinking about coming down to Northwest Arkansas, definitely download my three-day itinerary because the fact that if you're into sports, if you're into adventures, if you're into sightseeing, if you're into arts and culture, I made a three-day itinerary designed for you. So when you get down here, there's so much to do in Northwest Arkansas. Arkansas, it's kind of overwhelming. So I made a three-day itinerary kind of focusing on some of the best things to do in Northwest Arkansas when you come down here for a visit. And also when you are down here, give me a call because we can check out some homes and see how far your dollar will go in Northwest Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. And the next thing I did was I went to the website next door and I signed up for all the notifications located around that area. 
So the nice thing about next door is that it like kind of connects you to all the neighbors and you kind of see all the events that are happening in the area. So like sometimes, for instance, people are missing cats, you know, there's dogs missing, there's a garage sale coming up and it kind of focuses on literally like your next door area. So kind of like your neighborhood. So the nice thing is, is that, you know, instead of going to Facebook and going to Facebook groups like Fayetteville proper or, you know, Bentonville and like just kind of seeing the whole city, what next door does is it kind of connects you to like that like four block radius in the area and puts you in contact with your neighbors. So maybe you know you're kind of an introvert and you don't want to necessarily go and knock on doors and introduce yourself. Next door is kind of a great step to introduce yourself and you know post on there and say welcome to the area. Also the next thing I went to besides next door as I went and signed up for all of the Facebook groups and also meetup groups in the area. So meetup is a great website. So it has focused groups on like, let's say blockchain or knitting groups or biking groups or running groups, or even if to any sort of groups you're interested in, meetup has groups for you. There's a lot of groups dedicated for business groups and networking groups, so definitely check out Meetup for that as well. And on top of that, if you're into any group in general, Meetup will be the place to find all those, all those groups. If you go to Facebook groups, obviously I'm sure you're familiar with Facebook groups, but there's groups dedicated to all sorts of things around Northwest Arkansas. So if you don't find your group in Meetup, you will definitely find your group in Facebook groups. So after I signed up for Nextdoor, I signed up for Facebook groups, I signed up for Meetup. The next thing that was super important to me was I checked out all the kind of niche grocery stores in the area, obviously including Walmart as well as Aldi. So I do a lot of my shopping with Aldi and Walmart, of course, like, like, uh, like we all do. But I really wanted to see some of those niche grocery stores that have kind of unique things that maybe I would only want. So there's a lot of grocery stores from the Middle East. There's a lot of grocery stores from uh, Indian cuisine as well. If you have a cuisine that you're specifically looking for, I can almost guarantee you NWA carries that food type or they have a grocery store focused around that area. A good example is I have a lot of friends that are from the Middle East and they have a grocery store dedicated to all Middle Eastern food located right in Fayetteville. And I believe there's also one in Bentonville as well. So some of the grocery stores that I checked out right away were the co-op in Fayetteville as well as Whole foods and of course like Aldi as well. That's Aldi's more chain but I definitely wanted to see what Aldi has locally in Arkansas because as we know Aldi carries all sorts of wacky random stuff in different states and different locations and then when they sell out they sell out. And then lastly but definitely not least I checked out Visit Bentonville as well as Experience Fayetteville. Those are two locations you have to check out when you come down to Northwest Arkansas because you can get all the itineraries, all the maps, all the events coming up in both locations. And also the thing about Experience Fayetteville is you're not an official Fayettevillian until you actually buy some of the merchandise. So definitely check out Experience Fayetteville, buy some merchandise, buy the cups, buy the shirts, and you can wear the shirt that says Fayetteville is my favorite fill, which is one of my favorite shirts. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Really appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you are thinking about moving down to Northwest Arkansas, download my three-day itinerary. Because if you're an adventurer, if you're into sports, if you're into art or culture, if you're into any sort of sightseeing, the 3D itinerary is perfect for you because I have one made for you. Go ahead and download the itinerary. And also when you get down here, give me a call because we can check out some homes and see how far your dollar will go in Northwest Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one.